hello my dear students welcome back today we are going to know about some describing words you must be wondering what are these so let's find out what are describing words what you can see in this picture yes it's a ball but this is a big red ball as we all know that ball is a naming word right but what is describing this ball big and red big and red are the describing words see what is there in the picture it's a boy he is a smart boy and we know that boy is a naming word but what is describing the boy yes smart he is a smart boy so smart is a describing word because the word smart is describing the boy this is a green parrot parrot is again a naming word and what is describing the parrot yes the color green green is the describing word now this is a hall this is a big hall hall is again a naming word and what is describing the hall big the word big is a describing word so what we have understood words that describe the quality of a person animal place or thing are called adjectives or describing words okay so the words which describe the quality of a noun or a naming word like person animal place thing are describing words words are also used to describe the quality the color the size shape and the number of a noun let's see intelligent boy he is an intelligent boy he is an intelligent boy so here intelligent describes the quality of the boy as we know boy is the naming word and the word intelligent describing it and intelligent is the quality of the boy let's see next what is this yes it's a green caterpillar so the word green describes the color of the caterpillar sorry it's uh, written boy here the color green describes the uh, sorry color dis green describes the color of the caterpillar let's move again it's a big hall so here big describes the size of the hall round ball so round describes the shape of the ball hen and two chicks one hen and two chicks so here one and two describes the number of hen and chicks so an adjective also describes how someone or something looks tastes feels smells or sounds like okay for example what are these you all must know yes you all like to eat it chips but what is the taste of these chips it's salty chips so here salty describes the taste of the chips
soft pillow so here again soft is describing the feel of the pillow how the pillow feels it is very soft now loud music so here loud describes the sound of the music okay so now let's begin the exercise work from your grammar book so it's chapter 8 describing words as you already know what are describing words let's find out the describing words in this grid and color them pink so do it yourself i'm not going to help you in this next question is match the describing words with the nouns so here i have given you the clues to find out the describing words from the grid and the second part is match so you have to match the describing words with the nouns okay i hope you can see this picture and you will be able to find out the describing words from the grid and color them pink okay so let's move to the next here you have to circle the describing words and underline the naming words given in the sentences so let's start first is there are dark clouds in the sky so tell me which is the describing word and which is the naming word first let's find out the naming words clouds and sky and which is the describing word the word this dark is describing clouds okay next this basket is empty so naming word is basket and describing word is empty empty is describing the basket fruits are good for health so naming word is fruits and what is describing the fruits good good is the describing word because fruits are good next alia is cheerful as we know alia is the naming word and what is the quality of alia what describes alia cheerful next disha has curly hair so disha is a naming word and hair is also a naming word and what is describing the hair curly so disha has curly hair last aryan is smart and intelligent so naming word is aryan and describing word there are two describing words aryan is smart as well as he is intelligent so smart and intelligent are describing words okay i hope you can understand and you can do it yourself also let's move to the fourth part rearrange the letters now here what we have to do we have to rearrange the letters to make adjectives so here are some jumbled words you have to rearrange them and make adjective let's see the first one h t n i and we have got the hint that it begins with t so it is t h i n or hint next o g t u h and it begins with t so it's tough t o u g h let's move to the next one e y h v a and it begins with h so it must be h e a v y heavy next c i r h and it begins with r so it must be r i c h next m l l s a and it begins with s so it must be s m a l l small next g 
G-O-U-Y-N and it begins with Y so it's Y-O-U-N G Young Next S-Y-H and it begins with S so it must be S-H-Y Shy Next A-R-F-I and it begins with F so it's F A I R Fear Next one T E W S E and it begins with S so it must be S W E T Sweet Tenth G I double H and it begins with H so let's rearrange H I G H Hi. <coughs> Next, I G K N, and it begins with K, so it must be a quality that is kind. K I N D, kind. Next, I E C N, and it begins with N. So, let us guess. It's also quality N I C E. Nice. So, what adjectives we have made? Thin, tough, heavy, rich, small, young, shy, fair, sweet, high, kind and nice. So, these are the adjectives. Now, fifth part is filling the blanks. Here we have to fill in the blanks by choosing the adjective from the given options. Okay. First one is my grandfather is dash. So your grandfather is young or old? Yes, it's old because you are young and your grandfather is old. Next, flowers have dash smell. So how does flowers smell? Is it sweet or is it bitter? Flowers have sweet smell. Next, a square has dash sides. You must be knowing that this. How many sides are there of a square? Yes, it's four sides. Mother cooks dash dishes. Your mother cooks tasty dishes or long dishes? It's tasty. We respect him because he is dash. So we respect someone because he is smart or honest. Yes, we respect someone because of the honesty. So we respect him because he is honest. Eat dash fruits daily. So we have to eat big fruits daily or fresh fruits daily. Eat fresh fruits daily. We should eat fresh fruits every day. Okay? I hope you understood. Now sixth part is match the opposite words. Now let's match ugly. Opposite of ugly is beautiful. Noisy. Opposite is quiet. Opposite of clean is dirty. Opposite of dry is wet. Opposite of heavy is light. And the last one, opposite of thin is thick. Okay? Now, some homework for you. You have to write few sentences about your best friend using these describing words. So, you can use these words given below and you have to write few sentences. And next page is fun time. This is also your homework. Here you have to form adjective chain by following the example. This is for your practice. So you should keep trying to do it yourself. Follow the chain and make more adjectives. Like first is done for you. Like you can see first word is good. And the last word D. Next word is dark. Then kind. Deep and pink. 
so you can take help from the word bank also i hope you will do it thank you for watching and keep learning stay safe